So welcome to today's video. We are talking about FIFA 19 career mode and we're talking about the new gameplay features that have been confirmed as well as some little rumors here and there. Overall, I think this is going to be a good episode. It's going to be basically a things you need to know episode about FIFA 19 career mode. So share this video with a friend who's been complaining that there's no changes to career mode this year. Let's get to 300 likes on the video. And if you're new around here, this is the number one place for player faces on YouTube. So tap the subscribe button today and the notification bell and you won't be disappointed. The first new feature for career mode this year is new licenses. So, you know by now we have the Champions League, Europa League and UEFA Super Cup fully licensed now, which means you get an authentic tournament experience instead of the Champions Cup or Euro League, which was generic. And also, if you win one of the tournaments, you get to play in the UEFA Super Cup at the beginning of the next season. And I don't know why people are downplaying this. This is a pretty big new thing for career mode people. We're playing in the Champions Cup all the time. And having this now called the Champions League is really, really good. You play a lot of games in the Champions League. It's nice to have a fully licensed now with the official match presentation. New commentary as well. To me, it is a big difference between FIFA 18 career mode and FIFA 19 career mode because, you know, the, the FIFA 18 one had the generic stuff. Now the FIFA 19 one has an authentic tournament, which is definitely going to get you a little bit more pumped up to play those European games. It's also confirmed that the Carabao Cup, which was in FIFA 18, now has the official badge on the side of the shirt when you play those types of cup games. And the trophy is also authentic as well. So FIFA 19 is going to have an extra bit of licensing for the Carabao Cup, which is good because these are cup games that you're going to have to play when you do Premier League career mode. So I guess more authenticity is always a good thing. Also, it's pretty much confirmed that the Chinese Super League is going to be in FIFA 19. There has been some screenshots of the Chinese Super League partnered with FIFA 19 at one recent convention. And this is going to be a brand new league in FIFA 19 that hasn't been in FIFA 18. And it's probably going to be announced at Gamescom. This is obviously something that's going to affect career mode because who knows what the Chinese team budgets are going to be like. We're going to be seeing budgets of maybe 500 million because we all know these clubs in real life can offer big money. And I think the inclusion of the Chinese league is also going to bring back some quality players that we lost over the years as well. And I think managing a Chinese team could be fun this year. Don't forget that we also have a rumoured license which is still to come at Gamescom and that is the Serie A. It just basically makes the league authentic again. The name changes from Cultural A to Serie A. And alongside that we're going to be getting maybe the Coppa Italia as well which is useful for players that do the Serie A career modes and you got to do the Coppa Italia with that. So yeah, I hope this happens because I'm sick of seeing Cultural A but it doesn't really change much in the grand scheme of things. So for those people that say that FIFA 18 is going to be the same as FIFA 19 career mode, I hope you took into consideration all the licenses that I mentioned there. They are pretty important for career mode people. But we move on to the next one and that is new faces. Now for me, and maybe you, new faces are very important in career mode because there's nothing better than managing a squad that has all real faces. It just enhances the realism of the game. And this year so far we have over 300 new faces for players from the MLS, Premier League and La Liga and some from the, the Bundesliga as well. Um, I think the La Liga scans are fantastic. I think they're very useful this year because many of the players have high potentials, which makes them very useful signings as well. And of course, those of you that are going to do a La Liga career mode now get to play against more real faces. Not to mention, if you happen to verse Spanish teams in UEFA tournaments like the Champions League, you're going to come up against Real Madrid or something. Those teams are also going to have more real faces as well. So overall, 300 new faces is a lot. It's a big injection of faces. So between FIFA 18 and FIFA 19, 300 is a pretty big difference. Here are some little things that are going to be in FIFA 19 that haven't been in FIFA 18. I don't know if I'm going to put like a little brief picture, but we'll see what happens um, when I edit the video. But the first thing is you can now train strength and sprint speed in FIFA 19 career mode. So in FIFA 18, you couldn't train these attributes, but it has been confirmed that there are new drills now that are able to train strength. And if you go on Twitter, you can find a photo from FIFA Career Gems. He's got the drill and the strength there. So very, very useful now for those people that like to train players. You can also search for players that have a release clause now. So under the transfer status option, when you manually search for players in career mode, there is now an option to search for players with a release clause. And even if the player has not been scouted yet and there's no attributes that are shown until you scout them further, the game is still going to tell you the release clause amount even if you um, need to still find out all of their stats. So I don't know if I'm going to really use it a lot, but I guess it could be useful for some and I'm glad it's there. I'd rather have it there than not. And for those people that like to look at stats, in FIFA 19 when you take a look at the top scorer stat, it now shows how many games it took to score those goals. Now, this is not really a major thing, but I do look at the top scorers tab a lot when I play career mode. So this is something that I'll be reading as well. 
Another new thing in FIFA 19 is that the board now sends you an email and decides if they're going to increase or decrease your budget. And they send you an email which says, Dear Mr. Manager, we are excited to have you on board for another season. Based on your performance last season and the transfer budget savings you made, the board of directors has decided to increase the club's transfer budget this year with $88 million. This gives you a total transfer budget of $212 million, which we are hoping you are going to put to good use to improve the squad. I would like to remind you that with less important financial board expectations, more funds will be made available each season and from each player sale, so keep an eye out and complete the financial objectives to keep the board happy. Yours sincerely, Liverpool Chief Executive. And that was from at FIFA CM Network. We have new tile elements now in FIFA career mode on the dashboard. At the FIFA info, put these up. There is a new player unveiling cutscene where he juggles the ball and then he boots it out of the stadium. I don't know what he's doing, but um, that's there. And there's a Champions League draw in the tile as well. It's nothing really big. Um, it's just a guy picking up the balls and then it uh, cuts to him opening the name as well. It's not really that good, uh, but it is there. And after that, you can see the full draw of who versus who. And there's also a new derby tile on the career mode dashboard that comes up if you're playing a big derby. So you can see Northwest Derby, Manchester United versus Liverpool, 18th of August in the Premier League. So those are some little tiles now that are new, but nothing really too spectacular. I expect more cutscenes rather than tiles. I'm not really a fan of those little gifts that they use, but um, they don't really care about what I think anyway. Next up, we're going to be talking about new stadiums and Signal Iduna Park returns since FIFA 17. This is useful for people who want to do a Dortmund career mode or a Bundesliga career mode because you get to play at the Dortmund Stadium again. And then, of course, the Spurs new stadium was announced this week and it makes its way into the FIFA game for the first time ever, which means when you play a Premier League career mode with Spurs or you have to verse Spurs in your career mode, you get to play in the new stadium and not at Wembley Stadium anymore. I know for those people that like to do Premier League career modes, this could be something good for you. Um, brand new stadium never before seen in the game. And for those people that play with Spurs, it's a good reason to buy FIFA 19 career mode because you get to use the new stadium as well. We move on to another new career mode feature that's going to be different to FIFA 18. And it's more of a gameplay feature, but it does affect career mode, and that is dynamic tactics. This has already been confirmed with a few trailers already. But for the first time in a long time, tactics have been enhanced a lot this year, allowing you to change game plans with your D-pad, which means as you flick your D-pad left or right, you go into ultra defensive or something like that. Uh, the formation can change based on your presets, how deep you want your players to sit, if you want them to press, you know, those things are going to be a game changer because you don't need to go into your team management and continue changing the players around the formations. It's just going to be all on the D-pad. And you can basically make your squad play the way you want to play. So that's also pretty important. And career mode is all about managing a team the way you want to. So I think deeper tactics this year are going to be useful and it's not something you get currently in FIFA 18. And FIFA CM Network on Twitter confirmed these things. In career mode, all of a player's attributes are going to show up on one screen now. In the hiring of a youth scout menu in career mode, it states that the scout with better experience will find a larger number of players, while a scout with better judgment will find higher quality players. If you transfer or loan list a player, many offers will actually come in for that specific player. Youth squad players have updated more realistic looking faces, which is good. And right when a player is brought in, be it through youth systems or bought, they can now be loaned out right away. At the end of the calendar year, there is a UEFA Team of the Year shortlist for forwards, midfielders, defenders, and goalkeepers created for the news section. You can see there just a little text, nothing really too spectacular. And he also said that stats getting to 99 is quite rare now. So obviously these things can change, but it sounds all right. And for those people that said FIFA 18 career mode is the same as FIFA 19, don't buy it. Yes, it's not like Football Manager. Yes, there's no real big new features that are going to change the whole career mode spectrum. But little increments that definitely make a difference for those people that are going to be playing FIFA 19 career mode. I'm still going to be buying the game. Um, and I do hope that they do fix more things for FIFA 20. They add new stuff. It is a neglected game mode. But still, it's not the same as FIFA 18, especially with the inclusion of new licenses and stuff. It's going to be a different type of experience. And I am looking forward to it. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be buying FIFA 19 or are you going to stick with FIFA 18? And uh, yeah, it's good that the community does complain though because it gets the EA developers actually working. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy that one. If you want to watch another FIFA 19 video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. If you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail and I'll see you next time.